the day before 24 weeks, we went in for our regular checkup and um, they did an ultrasound and realized that the baby was not getting the nutrients. She was measuring a little small. So they went ahead and put us in the hospital for observation. Um, I believe that was on a Thursday night. On Saturday, my water broke, went into labor, and they took her then. Samantha. Samantha, hi. What you doing? You can't eat your tube. She had very weak lungs. And so that continued to be our struggle. We stayed on oxygen and we were never able to get off of the oxygen. Once they had closed her up from the last surgery with her intestines, um, she just like was struggling kind of eating and breathing at the same time and it was really hard on her. We were in there 296 days. We were able to take her home for about three weeks, a little over three weeks, and her body, she just kind of got sick throughout, you know, had a difficult time adjusting, and then um, passed away. We were pregnant with Sarah and carried her full term and she's been healthy and done great ever since. There's still a lot of babies born as early as ours were, you know, she was born at 24 weeks that don't survive. So they need to continue, you know, to do research and, and find more ways. And there's a lot of full-term babies that are born with just various things that they need to continue to research and find ways to best help those babies. Say so for me, the end goal of the time and energy and the money, you know, all, all that we can try to do to help uh, grow the March of Dimes or, you know, fundraise for them. It's just to make sure that no parent has to go through what we went through. So, you know, in the memory of Samantha is why we, we, we do what we do for the March of Dimes every year.